are we as an ethnic group obsessed with marriage? If you're not married as a woman in Nigeria and you're of a certain age, mm. they're not going to respect you. Yeah. When you jump into a marriage, it's oh. like the mindset of the average Nigerian is complete rubbish. You can't hold a guy that doesn't want to be held, that you yeah. can't keep a man that doesn't want to be kept. I don't think we're obsessed with marriage, I think we're obsessed with weddings. By 25, I thought I would be married. If you wake up every day, you're cheating, cheating, cheating. Mm. You think one day you get married <laughs> and the you <laughs> Welcome to My Chunks TV and welcome to another installment of Why Do We Love Love Season 2 where we explore themes of love and relationships. I'm your host Mo Chunks and I've got my panellists here with me today. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hi guys, my name is Barbara and I'm part of House TK. We are beauty bloggers. Hi Barbara. Hi guys, my name is Miss D. I'm a YouTuber and TV presenter. Awesome. And hi guys, my name is Deborah and I'm also part of House TK. Amazing. Aren't my panelists so beautiful today, guys? <laughs> so yes, we have an all-girl cast today, an all-girl panel, and we're going to be talking marriage, the pressures for marriage on women, black women, Nigerian women in particular. I believe, are we all Nigerian? Yes. On this panel? Okay, cool. So it actually started to get a bit heated off camera. And we thought, <laughs> and we thought why don't we bring it to... Um, why do we love love? Okay guys, so what are your thoughts on this whole thing about, you know, Nigerians and marriage? Are we as an ethnic group obsessed with marriage? I don't think we're obsessed with marriage. I think we're obsessed with weddings. Okay. Because at the end of the day, that's all we see. We go to weddings. We don't actually see the marriage between two people. Because at the end of the day, growing up, maybe a lot like a lot of us growing up in like single parent households or whatever we don't actually experience the marriage aspect of it we just understand wedding i should be oh yeah. pick your date da, 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 da. so it's like there's pressure in the wedding when, when are you gonna get married when can we bring our um our friends from church yeah parents be that i'm um, friends from church so that family friend from dead 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 the auntie of your uncle's something mm -hmm. the ones that you haven't met since you were baby I, mean, I do agree with the pressures on weddings like, okay. i do think because like bella ninja like blogs carry the whole wedding like, mm. if your wedding does not make bella ninja that is such a nigerian phrase that, 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 that is what blogs you are that is a goal like it's hashtag people's goals like my wedding must be a bella ninja wedding literally my hashtag must be like, yeah. so, are you planning the hashtag before? Everything? Oh, you haven't yeah, even proposed yet. No, like you, you don't even have boyfriend yet. Ooh. That's the thing. Oh, like, oh, yeah, it's really, <laughs> yes. like, it's so serious because some girls, and I don't blame people doing that because at the end of the day, like you've been taught that okay, when you come out of education, when you get a job, it's not, that's the next stage in your life. Like, you've yeah. never been taught that actually explore. This is you know we have one life, as in yeah. there's no reset button. If you don't go to one country in your life. And you pass on you'll never go to that country yeah. ever again mm -hmm. like that's it yeah so if you don't explore what you want to do and you're, you've just been told that as soon as you graduate as soon as you get a job marriage mm -hmm. you'll never go you're gonna miss out on everything around you and just focus on that one thing exploring mm -hmm. what regard though like explore like, different your, guys like, no, not, mm -hmm. guys because it, explore guys explore life explore yeah I, I, was, I wanted to get in there yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no i'm saying you should explore guys because the you're always gonna meet a bad guy. And you're always gonna meet a good guy, and mm. they're good guys that you're not meant to be yoked. That you're not equally yoked with. Do you understand? That's right. from a Christian perspective. There's a lot of guys that are such good guys. They're Christians as well. They're whatever faith or religion that you believe in and stuff. Yeah. And yet, but you not two like, are not meant to be together. Yeah. Like it's not yeah. every guy you see on the road that you guys are meant to yeah. be. Christian like girls. That. It's not every saved guy you see that's <laughs> meant to be. <laughs> 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 no, the thing is, let me tell you something. A guy could be. He could be a believer, mm. he could do all these things, he could be such a good guy. Obviously everybody has their faults, but he could have issues like communication issues. Yes. He may not be able to, he may be slightly lazy, he may not be able to like be on the same wavelength mm -hmm. with you, but he mm -hmm. still loves God. Mm -hmm. He still loves God. So it doesn't also, have to you. Sorry, the devil even goes to church. Thank the you. Devil, yeah, the devil yeah. goes to church. So so and this is the personal pee. story, like mm. when... Uh, oh, God, no. <laughs> So some some hey God. <laughs> so some um preacher like I was, when I was in youth church in Nigeria or whatever yeah I met him and whatnot so I, we, were, we were hanging out and I thought it was just you know hanging as in you're you're, sure. you're a preacher like do you understand you uh -huh. you're a youth pastor so mm. I was thinking okay yeah there's nothing that could go wrong in it mm. do you get Obviously, me, I like my crop tops and that. Yeah. So I wore a crop top. I didn't plan to meet up with him, but we eventually met up or whatever. He was like, oh, turn around for me. Hey! <laughs> 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 and like, 
in church the Sunday before I saw him, we're talking about sexual immorality. Ooh. This is a man telling. I'm done. I mean, we're not all we're not perfect beans. Mm. Christians yeah. aren't perfect beans, but okay. there's some people that it's kind of like you're not even trying. Yeah, yeah. and he right had now. a girlfriend when I found oh, out okay. about it. I think what it is is that we put there's too much expectations because right. he's a preacher. Therefore, he must be like the he must a have the being. right credentials mm. for being a no, preacher. But, Just, no, what, I have to say this in a way where it's like okay, look at it like this: someone that's like let's say um, banging the maddest fraud. You can look at it like, oh, he's a gangster, he's this, he's that, da, da, da. already there's certain, like, Quantities. stereotypes, yeah. you know what I'm that we put to them, but he could be, like, the nicest person in the world, like, mm-hmm. have the purest heart, but he's doing that. No, I'm, but, I'm, not sure. of, I'm not sure. 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 We're all four women on this table. We can all look, we're all black and everything. We all, like, fit the credentials of what a black woman's supposed to look like, and like, black woman, melanin, whatever. Yeah. But we all have different personalities. Yeah. We all have different things. He, no, I'm so sorry. Even you, that's my twin. We look the same. Yeah. But we do have different no, cred- I credentials. Don't I don't agree with that because at the end of the day, like, if you're a pastor, if you're a preacher, you're putting, you've been put into a certain position. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You're, like, I'm so sorry. When you take on, I think a lot of us will be like, oh, we're Christians, we make mistakes and stuff like that. No one's saying that we have to have a perfect yeah. master. No, no, no one's saying all of that. But you need to understand the position you've been put in. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. You can't be saying that, okay, for example, when Moses became like he was that person that God chose to lead them up to the promised land yeah. and stuff like that, there was a certain, like, how was it, rite of passage that like, he had to yeah. go through, that like, he had yeah. to become a different person. Like, yeah. You can't be doing the same thing and then saying, I'm a pastor, though. You're not exempt because you're, you've are you got the title. Like, you have to know that, okay, there's certain things I have to leave behind. There's certain things of the world I have to now stop doing. Yeah. Even if it means that, like, obviously, we all have our daily struggles, but if you're doing the same thing you're doing in the world, like, mm-hmm. so passionate, and you're now bringing it onto where you've been placed, that like, it yeah. doesn't make any sense. I think definitely when you are in, in a place of, you know, you're a pastor and da, 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 people are looking up to you. I think that's the main thing, that you kind of don't want to lead the flock no, astray. Sorry, and and even if you're, uh, even we, we've gone left, you know, you guys. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. 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 Let, let's bring it back. Okay. Let's bring it back. So, we, how did we even go into that? It was my story. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. How did we go into that? Okay, cool. So, you guys, tell, tell us your ages. I'm 20. Oh. Yeah, of course, 20, they're both yeah. 20. 100. Twins, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. you guys think about catching that? Yourself? Yeah, I'm 23. Okay, so I'm 22. So we're all quite young, and mm-hmm. it's. I think it's quite um, scary, actually, that we already know what it means to be pressurised into relationships and into marriages. One of you guys mentioned Bella Niger. I have a video on my channel why I unfollowed Bella Niger. I think I did this about six months ago, and the response to that just shows that, you know, a lot of people are living the same mm-hmm. or That's very struggling. similar similar experiences mm-hmm. yeah, of this, these expectations that are placed on you as to where it should be. So, like, from a young age, what did you guys feel like was the ideal age for you to get married? I thought that coming out of university, I would have my boyfriend that's about to propose to me. Okay. So, by 25, I thought I would be married. Okay. Literally going in. It's, it wasn't even, like, family pressure. It was just from everything else. Not yeah. really my family. I like, think it's not, like it's African not just magic. family, is it? No. Yeah. Just, do you understand? It's just everywhere, like... It's yeah. just me. 25 is just that age. Yeah. 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 25 is that age where it's like, okay, you're married there, and then everything, kids and stuff come... After, after 25. 25 because me in my head i was like oh because i want to have twins yeah okay. but i've always been like oh i want to be like my mom because my mom got married at 25 and then she had us at 26 and that's how i want my life to be but mm. that's not then it started to like dawn on me that like, you know what stop trying to focus on her race and just focus on your own like that's mm. not the way your life is gonna be like mm. if god is saying i didn't day you're gonna be sorry 32 when you get married then so it'd be i would rather wait and be happy in love than to be rushing into something and then Mm-hmm. Like be thirty and then have to divorce somebody. The person. Yeah. And some, yeah. like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, like, that's. I think um, when I was younger, I used to love watching all these weddings. Mm. Ah, weddings was my thing. Like I got so obsessed with weddings that it even even in uni, if you were seeing me like out of the library, I was always watching a wedding. Yeah, like, every single wedding. Christian they could do that. Weddings, <laughs> Christian weddings. Like, why am I obsessing about these people? I don't know what they're going mm-hmm. through. I don't know what their marriage entails. I don't exactly. know. Sorry, I don't know if he hits her behind clothes. I don't know if she like wants to stab him behind clothes. I don't know what happens. All they do is they bring themselves and they start smiling. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's true. True. yeah. So you can't be wishing, like you can't be like, oh yeah, I wish you for that. that I wish for that. Even um yeah. Is it Dangote's daughter? Not is it Dangote? Which one recently? Yeah, Dangote. Got married? Um, I think it was Dangote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then the, it's come out now that the the guy has um, not another wife but a baby mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait. 
And yeah. she was heavily pregnant whilst the wedding Where? was going on. <laughs> Where? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you know it is. This is all alleged. It doesn't. Yeah. Money doesn't matter. I realize when it comes to um, you know, I okay, so you want to drink actually? Yes. Yeah, yeah, let's pour some drinks. Yeah, let's pour some drinks. It doesn't depend on who you are anymore. Like, look at it, Dangote's daughter. Yeah. Like, hey, we're we'll looking at. Do you know how many Nigerians that play? Oh, Oluwa, please. Mm. Can I have money like Dangote? Do you understand? So yeah. it doesn't matter what status you are, you are, how much money you are. If a man wants to treat you like trash, yeah. he will treat you. If he wants to cheat on you, he will do it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Money doesn't bring happiness. Status uh-huh. doesn't bring happiness. Uh-huh. Look at all these people. Look, Beyonce, just, Beyonce Jay-Z. Yeah. He cheated at one point. Let's not just look at it like a man always cheats because he's not always cheating. Sometimes the woman just does dirty. Yeah. You have to look at it like, ah, Labu, what are you doing? I love what are you doing? <laughs> So do you feel like that's where the whole like pressure for weddings, as you were saying, kind of comes from the whole status thing? It's kind of like a status statement. Mm. The bigger your wedding is, the 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 more people kind of look up to your yeah, marriage. Yeah, because look at it like this. Yeah, I follow weddings as well, but not as heavy as you know as my fellow sister. You know, <laughs> but it's like look at it like this. Let me use Tua Savage for instance. Yeah, when she got married, everyone was like, "Oh my God, Dubai! Look at the place!" I was following that wedding like I was there. Banky W and, and this sure. one. Mm. Oh, this is yeah. So it was like, oh and they said they wanted a small wedding. They, the wanted, irony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they had like seventeen parties. They wanted a small wedding, but yeah, as you saw, public. Mm. That was a public, you know, cry yeah. basically. Mm. And it's like, look at that type of wedding. You're like, oh my god, look at Banky W. Look at all these people. They already had an expectation from the wedding party that they needed to deliver yeah. one one mad wedding yeah. like yeah, this. And yeah. if they did deliver that. Yeah, yeah, so like there, is, there is a pressure from the people way as Nigeria's well, like how so Nigerians will go in. It's because yeah. of the sense of pride, isn't it? Yeah. Like, <clears throat> like we're very I'm not even saying this to insult anybody, because I can speak even for myself in it. We're very proud individuals, like we're yeah. very proud of our culture, we're very proud of who we are. Like Nigerians, when we come together, we unite. There's nothing about oh you're Ibo, you're Yoruba, you're Aosa, you're this, you're that. It's if you're Nigerian, you're a Nigerian stand yeah. as one type mm-hmm. of thing. Mm-hmm. So if we have something like as a wedding or as a funeral or something, we go ham. Mm-hmm. Like there's no celebration we have where we don't go ham about yeah, it. Yeah. So when it comes to a wedding, that like, two families are coming together, you don't think there's pride plus pride. Mm-hmm. Like there's, <laughs> there's going to be a madness. Yeah, and true. then you've got oh, I've got to impress. Then you've also got people's mentality. You've got exes to stunt on. You've mm-hmm. got other things. You've got like I've got to show that you know I prepared for this. That like, this is my wedding. Yeah. And uh, in everybody's heads, like you only want to get married once. Well, yeah, so it's yeah. like oh, this is my wedding. But what about the life the... after? I think too much emphasis is placed on the wedding and. Not really like the, the marriage, marriage. Yeah. Yeah. and yeah. I feel like we're not really trained as individuals for the marriage. If anything, mm. women are trained more yes. for the marriage than men. Yeah. I'm sorry if you wake up every day you're cheating, cheating, cheating. Mm. You think one day you get married and you wake up I'm, and be faithful. It doesn't work like mm. that. You need to even, program your mind to that. Someone was like, "Ah, oh, women, we get told, we get given survival energy, tips energy. about um, marriage." <laughs> But with men, they're just giving quick tips that, okay, this is how marriage is like, do your thing. But with women, it's survival tips. This is how mm. you avoid getting in trouble with him. This is how you avoid this, you avoid that, da, 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 da. how you look after your kids, blah, like, blah, blah, prime blah. example, I think there was a time, probably still is in Nigeria anyway, like, you would hear of situations where a woman would come to her, like, bigger aunt's house and ask, or tell her, like, oh, my husband hit me. Yeah. And she would, she would always say, what did you do, you do? Yeah. to provoke him? You know, and there was, so there's bad. always like, or there always seems to be no responsibility placed on the man. The man. Yeah. Do you feel like that's changing in any way? First of all, from the perspective of, I mean, in terms of like pressure on marriage, is it equal um, for men and women now? Or is it still more emphasized for the woman to, to get married? I think it's more, there's more emphasis on the woman getting married. Yeah. And it's like, if you're not, from what I've heard anyway, like I haven't really lived in Nigeria that much, but like from what I've heard, if you're not married as a woman in Nigeria and you're of a certain age, mm. they're not going to respect you. Yeah, I've like, heard that. Like, with, yeah. yeah, like with marriage and, and even like just being single and staying in your house, this is completely different. Mm. Being single, a single Nigerian girl and having a flat in mm. Nigeria, yeah, you're like, oh, yeah. this must girl, be, she must be more yeah. top of yeah. 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 It depends on also what you can know as a woman, like what you place to be a woman. Mm. Like for example, like, you know, 
scientifically is when you start your time of the month that's when you're biologically a woman okay, but then yeah. when in like some cultures is that when you're married you suddenly become a woman so everything you did before mm. that you were never a woman you're oh, just wow. a young girl so yeah. like, like oh when you have kids so it's like okay have you ever heard that when um a woman gets married and she doesn't want to have kids just yet or it's she doesn't can't have kids suddenly the mother in law like did you marry a woman or did you marry wood like oh, which no. one is it that's what, <laughs> yeah, that's what you know. you've heard things like that mm. i swear down people have said this like, mm, i've heard true. i've even gone to church and i've heard a woman say that to someone i'm thinking you don't even know what the woman's situation it could actually may be. be like, the man that has a problem yeah, with you know, as well. And the thing is as well, it's like, the woman, a lot of the time in marriage, people always put so much responsibility on the woman. Mm. The woman must carry the man. The woman must do this. Woman. But then, yep. yeah, when it comes to the debate of um, equality, the man will say, I'm the breadwinner. Mm. The man will say, I'm the head of the household. Mm. But wait, hold on. M- more time, the things that are running your home is the woman that's doing it. Yeah. Like, if there's yeah. a problem with the home, it's the woman. It's well, exactly. Like, if your husband wants to go cheat, it's the woman's fault. Mm-hmm. If the husband did it, it's the woman's fault. Like, I, think, I think what it is that we tend to, with Africans in general, because this is not just a Nigerian thing or something. Yeah, like, no. I feel like with Africans in general, the thing is like, it's it's just, if a, a woman is like, she's given different tasks, she's always like, get married, have children, keep, clean the house, do this, do that, do this, do that. That's it. That's your role as a woman. I think that like, it comes from the Bible where they see it and they're like, Okay, if it's in the Bible, the, the Bible is very like, misunderstood and taken yeah. out of context. Out and I think for people's, uh, how can I say this, to make them make, make themselves seem justified. Yeah. Mm. A lot of the oppressions that the average Nigerian, I don't know, let me not say average, or uh, that the, the average. oppression. Average? Yeah, the average, because we're not majority of Nigerians. People that think like us are not majority of Nigerians. Mm-hmm. We need to realize that the mindset of the average Nigerian is complete rubbish. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. it's complete mm-hmm. rubbish. So that oppression, oh. they will try to justify it. <laughs> 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 that oppression, they will try to justify it with mm-hmm. the whole verse about submission. Mm-hmm. You know, submission is not subjugation. Mm-hmm. They're two very different words, and I feel like people take it more in that kind of context. And it, it all stems from, you know, when they used to live in the village and the man would go out to work and the woman would you know do nothing else but cook clean it's a thing where it's like this is how it goes for a woman be a virgin Mm. till you get married get married have have children have children look after the household i was watching this there was this clip on twitter here where a man was like oh a woman wanted to like initiate sex that like she was the one that wanted to initiate she was the I wife feel like I this movie and then he now said he now said oh um, if you weren't a virgin, I'll think that you were a prostitute. And she was like, yeah. because I want to initiate sex, because mm-hmm. I wanted to husband. reach that just like with my husband. It's just a thing that like, there's this stigma with, I don't know if it's with Nigerians or just some men, I'll say some, not all. It's like, oh, a woman needs to be like pure. If, she, if she's not a virgin, a she's, her body count needs to be below five. If yeah. it's below five, then she, that I means think there is definitely this thing of... Um, controlling the, the the female sexuality mm-hmm. um within nigerian culture like certain I, things I you know it's we've, we've, I, maybe, I think black people maybe in I general just gonna say that. um we have this boys will be boys kind mm-hmm. of thing but i i always find it quite interesting because you want the girls to remain virgins but who are these guys sleeping with yeah unless they're sleeping with each other and you I know man them out here like guys out here will sleep with girls at least some people even have a body count of over 200. Yeah. This is reality, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now, a friend will now come, do, 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 meet them. Okay, cool. I haven't slept with anybody yet. You slept with 200 people. I have to now deal with 200 souls. Spirits. And one time, yeah, probably half of these girls will probably curse you as well. So mm. whatever you're putting... To, like, do you understand? You're not understanding the connection we're about to have. And you're about to put all that nonsense on me. Like, this is the reason why I say fair. body count may be important, yeah? I think also it's about age as well because I think only when you're like 20 something da, 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 that's when body can't be like oh yeah you slept with this many people okay 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 cool. and then when you're older like it doesn't it matter it's okay yeah, like, like, nobody really cares about nobody really wants to hear about your sexual partners they just want to know okay you're mature enough okay let's yeah. keep okay. because especially black people especially Nigerian women they'll be like oh, you have to keep yourself pure you can't let anybody touch you you can't do this you can't do that you didn't <laughs> <laughs> and then, 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 then yeah, they'll be telling the girl to do all this, package herself properly, and the man will still go out and cheat. Mm. He'll still go and look for something better. If yeah, the man is going to cheat, he will just cheat. cheat. No like, there's, nothing, what you there's do. nothing a woman can do. No matter what that you will, do. Like, you can't hold a guy that doesn't want to be held. Like, you yeah. can't keep a man that doesn't want to be kept. If he's going to do whatever he wants to do, he'll do it on you. Like, yeah. you could be the most amazing woman mm-hmm. on earth. Like, you can ask, cook, clean, do everything, go to work, get your own money. And I'm not ask of anything but his love, and he will still do you day. Okay, so we've kind of spoken about the Nigerian experience and the black experience in general, but mm-hmm. do you feel like there is 
in terms of like the Nigerian experience, a difference in tribes and like pressure and stuff like that? Because yeah, she so. was mentioning something quite interesting of yeah. Pamela, so I thought. Um, because basically I'm from two tribes, so I'm half Yoruba and I'm half Irobo, and that's the Delta um, tribe, I think South South, I can't yeah, remember. South South. Yeah. So um, basically with the Yoruba tribe, like, I tend to get more pressure about like partners and being in a relationship more from my mum's side of the family. Not my mum particularly, but my mum's side of the family compared to my dad's side of the family. They're more like, you know, education, what are you trying to do with your jobs, like what are you trying to do, how are you trying to get your money up, da 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 da. I don't know if it's for my family in particular, that's yeah. the reason why it's like that, yeah. but I can only speak on my experience with the two tribes and I, I tend to, like, even though I live with my mum, I tend to like more of the Iribo side of my, like, when it comes to relationship aspect, because for me, I'd rather, as I said earlier, become a millionaire before I think about any man mm. and like mm. do my own thing and live my own life yeah. and then if but he comes people, he's an addition. Yeah, but some people can question it like but what if you turn forty and then you get your millions but they're not happy, you're not you don't yeah. have love. Yeah, obviously money doesn't like guarantee happiness and love, but then for me I'm a Christian, right? So the ultimate love I can ever experience is through God. Really, Come on. Yeah. So if the if your love if I can't be with a guy that doesn't love God because mm-hmm. then he won't know how to love me. Yeah. So if it means I have to wait till 40 to get that love, I would mm. rather wait. Mm-hmm. It may not be my ideal like, preference. Of course, I want to get married. That, you know, I've got a set age in my head that I want to get married. But if that means I have to wait, I'm willing to do that because I don't... I've always said I don't want to make big mistakes in my life and mm. one of them is to be with the wrong partner. Like, yeah. I don't want to do that. I don't want to sit at home thinking I regret marrying this man. Uh, why, why are you making me? I, like, yeah. I want to be like... Yeah, like even if after maybe we fall out of love, fall in love, like I yeah. just with somebody I can consistently like just love and like and cherish and yeah. be with because at the end of the day we're all writing the books of our lives. Like, Come on. Yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't yeah. want to be sitting down thinking, oh, I regret this or like, why did I get married at 26? Why didn't I live my life? And I don't want to mm-hmm. be the one to now go, I want a divorce. Mm, yeah. I don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to be with you anymore. I want yeah. the I want the man that I have kids for to be the man I'm only Forever. gonna be with. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It may be a utopia for some people, but for me. God will, you heard my prayers. Amen. So I'm saying. <laughs> Putting it out there into the universe. We've spoken on marriage, so mm. what comes after children? Mm. You know, there's the popular rhyme, um, what's the first comes marriage, then baby comes... Love. Then oh, comes baby. baby. In the baby, baby carriage. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you feel like there is a pressure on women to like have kids straight away? I think yeah. so. Especially yeah. like, Nigeria. okay, when are my grandchildren coming? Mm. When, do you understand? And for me personally, I'm not trying to have children like, as soon as I get married. Mm-hmm. I want to build that relationship with my husband. I want mm-hmm. to build that foundation. Because you can't return children, no guys. <laughs> you, can't return, you can you cannot take a break. Oh, you cannot say pause. Like and then immediately I'll nah. For me I wanna wait like two, three years before I have it. But your in laws will definitely pressure you. I, I think like there's that. pressure comes from everywhere like there's, you get pressure from women, mm. then you get pressure from men. Men don't understand what women go through in terms of giving birth, birth, having children, yeah. stuff like that. So that pressure in itself is just coming from their own perspective. But from when it comes from another woman saying to you, okay, when are you going to give us, like, I want to see my nieces, even if it comes from your sister, your mom, mm-hmm. your friend, that pressure of another woman telling you, it pains more if a woman calls you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're barren, you're this, hey, you're that. Yeah. It pains you more than it, if, it pain, if it came from a man. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, you should understand where I'm coming from. That's you tough. should understand my pain. Mm. You should understand this, this, that. But right you, then. you've decided to come and judge me as mm. a woman. Mm. Ah! Like I don't think, I think when it comes to um, lay lay your burdens on, onto Christ. It, whenever you want your children, whenever you want children, go to God in prayer and say that. Okay, yeah, God, I think this is the time. You feel like people can? I want to be careful when I say this. Mm. Can ever prolong it too much? Yeah. So, like, God has given you the go, go mm-hmm. ahead. Because, you know, sometimes our timelines aren't exactly God's God, timelines. Of like, I've heard stories of people saying that, there was actually a couple, yeah, in, in Leicester, she was saying how God told her, now it's time to have kids. She was like, no, 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 I'm still working on my career. Mm-hmm. And then, like, when she was actually ready, it was now a struggle mm-hmm. to conceive. I think so. so. I feel like in life in general, us human beings long out certain things mm-hmm. more than others. But I feel like... Some people do that because of the fear. Because some people, when we grow up, like, I'm growing up, yeah, and I still think I'm still a child. Like, I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not really getting used to this adulting thing properly. Mm. And I feel like, rather than, like, all these adults we look at, some of them are actually big children having children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, we have children out here having children. Yeah. Like, we're not actually, so there's nothing I can give you. Like, there's nothing I'm actually 
like for me anyways i don't think i have anything to offer a child right now exactly. like, there's nothing i can offer you as a child and exactly. there, i know there's my age mates that are actually having children yeah. and i'm not looking down there maybe they're more much much more much children more, yeah but i can't so there's some people that are 46 that are still thinking i'm still a child like i legit mm-hmm. haven't lived my life like i've had too many people determined to too many things telling me what to do and now it's like i'm trying to live my life and now i have to bring out a kid like what am i going to tell that child what am i I feel like when you have a child, you step up to the plate. Though. Yes. You, you, you grow. You yeah. definitely grow. You're not going to remain Not everybody. You'd be not everybody. <laughs> but like, that, is the, that is the norm. That is what it should be. And that's what should happen. Yeah. 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 So it's so, it's so um, upsetting that that's what it should be. Mm. Yeah, we live in society where it's like... That's not what we're seeing. That's, 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 that's not what we're seeing. That's not what we're seeing. Oh, that, guys, that was such an interesting conversation. Was there anything yeah. else that you guys wanted to pull out um, from this? Take time. Don't mm. rush. Be happy. Mm. Learn to love yourself. Mm. Learn to, you know, if you're a Christian, find God first. Like, understand yourself. Be happy in your singleness, honestly. Oh, actually, honestly. speaking of that, what do you think about, like, Christians and, like, young marriages? Because I know, I know a lot of people would, like, clown on social media saying they're only doing it so they can shack yeah, up. And yeah, I, 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 think, think I think that's yeah, the case for lie. some people. Well, the Bible does say. Oh <laughs> <laughs> it is better for you to marry than burn with passion. You know, so that's God's word, right? I feel there. like sometimes it can't like people marry young on the fact where they, on the basis of I've actually found my true love. Mm. Like I, it's not I want to just it, Kanji's not doing me that much where mm. I have to go mm-hmm. and Kanji get married. is like how do you say that? When you're like, so I, yeah, not doing me that Thanks, much. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> the roast is not doing me that much where I'm feeling that I have to like jump into marriage with this person. Because when you jump into marriage, it's, oh, a, it's a big God, deal. You jump into marriage like some people we don't even pick our fam- the families that we go into. Like, sometimes they can be hectic. Mm. I'm going to jumping into marriage that like, you could just. Simply not avoid, but just take your time and relax, calm down, like chill. I have a friend, you Eunice, I used to say, it, please, yeah. if it's doing you that much, just do it and marry later. Yeah? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm doing go and say more chunks. <laughs> <saying. laughs> but I didn't think, like, it's your relationship with Christ. Like, if you end up having um, sex before marriage, like, mm. that's you, that's you and God. Like, nobody is out here, nobody should be out here condemning people for having sex before marriage. Like, not saying, oh, therefore, that's your leeway to now go and do it. it. Yeah. But if that's the position you find yourself in, some people have a choice to have sex before marriage, some people didn't even have a choice before. Mm-hmm. Like, so you don't know anybody's situation. Like stories, don't be out here telling people, oh, do, 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 do. Mm. just live your life and leave it. let everybody else live, live their life as well. Like, yeah. take time. But I do want to say this though, like, you shouldn't be rushing into marriage just to have sex. sex. I yeah. just feel, and I do feel like people actually genuinely do that. Yeah. And it's, it's, mm. it's But we live in a generation stuff. where sex is everywhere. Stuff. Yeah. Like, mm. sex is everywhere. Like, well, I don't know why you have to jump Some into people marriage. go into marriage, um, like, have sex, jump into that because of their conscience, like, ah, uh, if I do it in marriage, then God will then think that it's not a sin, that it's yeah. not a thing. But before, you've already been having the thought. The reason why you've gone into mm, marriage with so wrong intentions. Yeah, yeah. That's and the it reason says why when, you, when you've done it in your heart, you've kind yeah, of you've done, done it, done it already. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the reason why some people jump into marriage so quickly. Yeah, but I, I do think it's not always the case. I feel like a lot of people do tend to judge young Christian couples for mm-hmm. marrying. I mean, there are the ones that genuinely, genuinely, genuinely love yeah. each other. And they have the support, the mm-hmm. financial support mm-hmm. and stuff to, to marry. Yeah. But anyway, guys, that was an interesting conversation. Thank you so much for having this <laughs> chat with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this make sure you like this video if you liked it share it with your friends comment down below on the things we spoke about and subscribe to this channel for more until next time guys peace and love peace and chunks. <laughs> <laughs>